Phillips. He was in a big car smash as well last year. He's had problems making the weight in the past, but now he says he's a dad. Daughter Harper is his focus, and he wants to make up for lost time. Garner's natural inclination is always to get in there and throw the big punches like this. Good injection of pace there from Garner, really put it on, on his opponent and backing him onto the ropes. Just lost his focus there, got caught. Um, his opponent just turned him. But wild shots from Antonez. And I should imagine he's fairly dangerous, but like I said, Garner up to this stage, keeping that guard high, blocking the shots, and the better quality is coming from the Southampton man. Tall for a super featherweight, Antonez stands close to five foot ten, and as you heard, he's won his last five fights. In fact, took his Spanish title in his last appearance. Runs a grocery store away from boxing. Good work from Garner in the last few seconds of a fairly dramatic opener. Ryan's tattooed arms. He's got pictures of Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, and Sugar Ray Leonard. Not uh, three bad ones. No, not at all. Oh, nice defensive work there from Garner, also. Just slipping those shots. I think Antonez, he'll, care, he'll carry a fair bit of weight in those swings. That, the shots that he's throwing, he gets good leverage in his punches, but he's a bit inaccurate. And like I said, he's all over the place, his footwork is, is, is bad, John. The way he keeps um, getting back onto those ropes and the feet come square. That's better from Artenez. Battling back. Trying to return fire with fire. Punch from Garner straight low, but he switches the attack to the head effectively. Yeah, Anton has, has got to watch what he's doing here, John. The way the way he's boxing, he's taking so many risks, letting Garner get through on the inside and working to the body. His feet come square, and he's gone. Turned him brilliantly in the corner, chopping right hand, followed by the left hand to the chin. And is he going to get up? Frank Warren was on his feet, applauding his fighter, Ryan Garner, and now the end could come here, right here in the third, because Garner's going to work. He's looking to take out the Spaniard right now, and the referee, Kevin Parker, is poised. One more big punch might be enough. He wants to see something coming back from Antonez, and there comes a punch, and not before time. Garner's put a tremendous effort here in in this third round, but he cannot get him away. One more big shot, maybe. Oh, his weight is over. It's all over. And Garner gets a brilliant win. His legion of supporters celebrate. He's hugged by his delighted trainer, Wayne Button. And tonight, he was very, very good. That was a terrific display from Ryan Garner. We said it at the start of the round, can he maintain this pace? He didn't maintain it, he went up another level. Caught his opponent with a cracking shot that put him to, to the canvas and then just kept it going, sustained the pressure. It was his accuracy, it was the work with the jab, it was the work on the inside. And it was also that defensive work that made it so impressive. An overall display, very, very good indeed. Your referee, Kevin Parker, calls a halt to this contest. Therefore, your winner by TKO... And you! WBC International Super Featherweight Champion, Ryan the Piranha!